my name is Josiah Raider, and today we'll be going over my top 10 favorite skins in the game. Now, it's been actually quite a bit long time since I've uh, actually done one of these videos. Actually, I don't think I've ever done one of these videos on my channel, and I just want to bring it back. And I definitely didn't uh, see this on, on one of my friends' channels. Like, yeah, I think I should do that as a video as well. So, if, yeah, uh, I'm, see I'm stealing the video, but don't worry, I'll give you a free shout out when we get to one of the rankings on the list. And, yeah. So basically, these are all going to be skins that are, my opinion, really, really good. And yeah, now I do want to give a quick, a couple of quick honorable mentions, and we'll get to those for a second. But uh, please consider subscribing to the channel. I mean, uh, Slurpy Swamps is being abducted. I'm really, really sad. And if you guys can, you know, subscribe to me, that would actually make my day. And yeah, now let's get into the now let's get into the countdown. But like I said, first is obviously moment. Tomato Head. You guys cannot go without a top 10 skin with without me making a video. Now, I, in my opinion, there was a bit more embarrassment to Tomato Head than what they have in the game. It took me about a little time to realize this, but it's fine. Uh, I still absolutely love him. If we're doing top 11 skins, he went right on number 11. He was my main for uh, almost a year. No, no, it has been a year. I mean, the skin. And so Infinity came out. And yeah, overall, an amazing skin. And he has a really great edit style, and I think, um, I was just a little controversial, because people don't really like him. Get the skin, you will not regret it. And the next skin I have as well, was the Pyramble mention, is actually gonna also be Sky. She is actually, my opinion, my favorite skin from the Chapter 2 Season 2 Battle Pass, besides, uh, maybe the Mouses or Deadpool. But yeah, I think, honestly, she's, just, she's a really, really great skin, and I just generally like it. And you got a couple other ones over here, which I'm not gonna mention right now. Uh, basically, you know, uh, Grimy, that's another really good one, and it's overall, and Moth Commando, yes, Moth Commando is amazing, uh, I don't know, this is a lot of, I have a lot of skins I can honorable mention to, but yeah, now it's just gonna be the top 10, that's my, that's my 10th favorite skin in the game, this is gonna be Chimera, now, he was not, we were not now, I think we're now, if it was just, just like, uh, Maya, where you can only choose one thing for each thing, he would definitely not be in the top 10, but, the reason why I'm in the top 10 is, number one, I've always wanted a customizable alien skin. And I think Epic absolutely slam dunk on this entire concept of them. Now, we are going to be getting Human Bill in a couple of weeks. But I don't think, it, no, like in the next few weeks or so. But I really think Human Bill is as good as the skin. Chimera's on another level of good. He is the best Battle Pass skin in the game. Actually, that's a lie. That's another one I think is better. I don't know if you... We, I'm gonna rephrase it. He's the best tier one skin he's ever gone. The amount of customizability on Chimera is absolutely insane. This is the head colors, this is the eye colors, you can see pretty much every little detail about him to become like your very own alien. Like how cool is that? And honestly, I I honestly generally think as much as I'm talking about like Tomato Head, I think he's better than Tomato <laughs> And yeah, uh Chimera, I would have ranked him higher. But I think all the other skins, in my opinion, are a little better than Chimera, but overall, he is my, he is such a great skin. And I highly suggest every single one of you watching this video, the season's still going on, get the battle pass if you haven't gone already, at least try to get one. And also, get some alien artifacts, make your very own alien, go crazy and wild. And yeah, now let's run to the next Number episode. Nine is a very, very recent one, and uh, this is gonna be Molten Ragnarok. Now, um, this is my same opinion. I think he was one of the best skins in the game, and we have we have one of the best skins we have seen in a long time. And I still stand by that. I think Molten Ragnarok is probably one of the best skins in the game. I think he has an amazing color scheme, and he fits the Molten Rarity in my opinion. He is the best bundle type skin in the game. He probably is one of the best bundle in the game. It's overall such an amazing skin. And they took a tier 100 skin, which I love, and I still don't own, which I'm really sad about, and they made it better somehow. I don't know how you make Ragnarok Rep better, but they managed to do that, and then I think the outcome just made it super, super good. And honestly, I was, I was a big fan of stuff that's like Magma and Fire, like any of the games, so I'm a little bit biased for the skin, but I don't care, bro. It's such a great skin, and if, if, when the Magma Master skin back, comes back, come and get it. Come again, number 8 is Team Meow Souls. Now, I think absolutely no reason to agree with me on this, because like what I'm saying, it's my personal top 10. It's supposed to be like a top 10 best in the game. This is my personal opinion, my top 10 favorite things in the game. And Toon Meow Souls 
is one of my favorite skins in the game, period. I think he is probably the best meme skin in the entire game, and I will stand, I will always stand by that, because I think you will see what I mean. I love old vintage cartoons and old vintage stuff, and I when you see them translate the skin, like the assholes, the assholes, make a make a tune and translate it so well into the game to make it look like a cartoon cat it is amazing. And also, not to mention, not, not to mention, he looks like uh, he now looks like Benny from Benny the English Scene. I mean, at least what these guys do. This one has to get like a lot of Benny the English Scene vibes, which once again, it's extra points. So all together, is you got the best skin from last season and probably one of the best skins in my opinion in, in the game. This is my opinion, guys. And yeah, like I said, I don't think any of them anything to create except for a few people, a few people. But I absolutely love TV Alphals. And if you guys haven't got him, get him. The emote's amazing, the pick after amazing. Everything about the skin's is amazing. Here, but <laughs> I don't care. Never tell you number seven is uh, basically the entire Marvel rarity as a whole. Now, this way is cheating. I get it, but man, the whole entire Marvel rarity is the best skin in the game. But that's just, that's that'll be in a different video. This is oh yeah, I forgot this is my favorite. So from the Marvel rarity, uh, I'm actually tied between three skins here. We have Thanos, Venom, and Doctor Doom. So uh, yeah, this is like I said, technically cheating, but these three skins I cannot decide, and I don't want to pick any of our positions. Is that, is that okay? And I don't like honorable mentions because they have to be good the rest because they're underrated, especially Venom and Doctor Doom. So let's talk about uh, Venom first here. Venom is prob no so it's over. Uh Venom. Venom is probably the most coolest and detailed Marvel skin in the game. Not to mention Venom is one of the most badass combo characters to be ever created. He has such a great skin. I mean, look, just look at the detail of this edit style, guys. You guys cannot tell me this is a bad skin. This skin is incredible. Ten out of ten. Okay, uh Doctor Doom time. Uh Doctor Doom is easily the most underrated bad Marvel skin. No one now like, no, he's another one. He's one of the most underrated battle pass. Unrated battle pass skins in the game. We're the most unrated battle Marvel skins in the game. You guys, he's Doc. He's Doctor Freaking Doom. I would. I was. I was only Doc Martin. This is his character. I would always want to have his skin. He got his skin, and it is amazing. It is spot. Com it is spot on. The styles you get with him are absolutely amazing. And as I, just, I just cannot decide which one's my favorite. And then uh, Thanos. For the obvious reason is that it's Thanos. We. Uh, he is. Such a great skin, such a detailed Marvel skin, and one of the best Marvel skins in the entire game. And I think a lot of people can agree with that. Mar Thanos is incredible. They literally just copied and pasted him for the Infinity Gauntlet and LTF. And it's okay, because he turned out really, really good. It's actually going to be V. Now, I was tempted to put Galaxia on this list, but I was just realized, I was just having to say, like, which Fortnite Crew skin will use the most? Hey, which one do I like the most? Now, I will see this. Galaxia would be number 12, or behind Tomato Head. I guess that's stupid, but... Yeah, it's stupid for a lot of people, but hey. Galaxia is still really, really good. He's in my top 20. And same thing with Mega Color Master, but... V is such a great Fortnite Crew skin. Can we all agree that V is probably the best... Drift-type skin in the game? Not to mention, V just looks absolutely... It's just such a great skin. You can make so many great combos with it. Is honestly such a great skin, and I like how I took a premise of a Driftery skin, but just turned it on its head. Like, if you compare this with the original Drift, it is nowhere near as, like, look-wise. It is nowhere similar. She had a similar color scheme, but besides that, nothing. And also, in my opinion, B is way better than Drift, in my opinion. And honestly, the I just, please, Epic, if you do more reskins, make them more like B. And I still do not think we have a crew pack that is past the B yet. I think this is probably still the best crew pack skin we've got in the game, and one of the best skins in the game. And she's one of my favorite ones. Uh, I forgot to keep it printing since it's my favorite skin list, and not the best skin list. <laughs> but yeah, overall, B gets a uh, number 6 position. I think a lot of people are going to agree with me on this, and a lot of people aren't going to agree with me on this. Edit for the, like, the Marvel skin section, uh, I forgot to add Iron Man in there because he's probably the best hero on the skin in the entire game. And, no, he is the best hero on skin in the entire game because it's mother freaking Iron Man. I'm not talking about the Tony Stark for it. I want to talk about the Iron Man variant. I think it's a really great skin. And yeah, uh, now let's move on to number, uh, or what the hell next? Number six, I forgot. My, on my fifth favorite skin in the entire game. This is going to be Shogun. Uh, Corrupted Shogun. And 
Uh, if you guys don't know me uh, originally, I actually am part of the side who actually likes the original Shogun skin. I think it's a really, really cool skin. So they took the original concept in Shogun, and they put a Corrupted Baryon in it, and they made it just 10 times better. Like, Corrupted Shogun is, uh, it's not the best bundle skin, but like Molten Ragnarok, but I like him overall more than Molten Ragnarok. See what I mean? So, like I said, I think Molten Ragnarok is the best bundle skin in the game. But I just use Corrupted Shogun more, and I also love him more. Because, like I said, they just slapped a Corrupted Berry on him. You know, so, and this, this brought the slider bar mechanic, they have all the Bronji and all this cool stuff as well. And, Corrupted Shogun is just such a badass on I mean, your skin. Like, if you see this in-game, like, Mad Respect best you, because the skin looks absolutely amazing. Like, this is top-quality Fortnite skin. This is easily the best Fortnite reskin the entire game. Uh, don't even question me about it, because, like, this whole entire- They- they need to make more corrupted skins. Epic, this thing to make, please. I will put- If you can make anything, like, also corrupted, like, a really cool idea, Corrupted Cyclo. We should get that as a skin, because if so, that would be the best skin of the game. Beating our- Okay, I kind of spoiled my number one position, but you guys know what the number one position is anyway. That would be beating Cyclo, which we'll talk about in a bit. And, yeah, uh, yeah, uh, this- Corrupted Shogun is such a great skin. Fourth, actually a tie position between Zero and Infinity. We're talking about Zero first. Uh, Zero would have been higher if they didn't remove his glow. I think they remember how bright he's. I think that brightness kind of might have made the skin a lot more better. But besides that, I think Zero is such a sick looking skin. It doesn't really matter. They just took the zero point made into a skin, and it turned out absolutely amazing. Like, zero is probably, in my opinion, the second best legendary skin in the entire game. It's honestly such a great skin. And honestly, I haven't used this skin in a long time, but I'm using it. I'm gonna use them again. Same thing with, uh, Infinity. So yeah, now let's, now let's actually look at Infinity here. Uh, Infinity, my boy Infinity. Uh, unlike Tomato Head, I still think the skin stands a tight test of time. Even though I love Tomato Head. On the Viking Magician him, people don't think I, I, I love Tomato Head. I have, a, I have a scrapped video where I have him underrated skins, and I put him on there. Because he is the most underrated skin in the game. Oh, I'm rocking that. That's just, that's just an opinion. Yeah, like I said, uh, Infinity. Oh, yeah, Infinity. Uh, he's a really, really cool, awesome skin. I made him for uh, half a year uh, because Chapter Season 1 took forever to be finished. And I also made him for Chapter Season 2. And when I tell you Infinity is a great skin, he is a great skin. Like, honestly, Infinity is probably the coolest looking shop skin, besides a couple other ones. And honestly, he, he is the best skin from Chapter 1. Like, I'm being serious, he's the best skin from Chapter 1. Overall, such a shop skin, at least. Overall, such an amazing skin, and one that I think a lot of people really, really like. And a shout out to Molo Gaming for also uh, remaining a skin. Also, sorry for feeling your video idea. You know, <laughs> because, uh, he just keeps, uh, yeah. You see, because he, I see you in the couple of times, uh, sorry about the, the video idea. And, uh, I just shut up now before, uh, he's like, before I make this awkward. Number, uh, three is going to actually be the internal Voyager. Uh, when I made this video, which, uh, or so you guys know, I did a lot of my old videos. Like, I think every, and I have a couple of few of them. And I, I want to re-upload a few of them. I wanted to, yeah, probably upload my device reaction or something like that. Yeah, like I said, uh, uh, yeah, Eternal Voyager, went for that video, I said, I put Eternal Voyager in this exact position, and he stays in this exact position. He is the best battle pass in this entire game. The amount of customization, even though small, is just so good that it doesn't really matter. Like, his final thing looks like Cosmic Ghost Rider, and honestly, he is such a cool-looking skin. One of the best skins in the entire game. And I'm not fully mean. I don't ever talk about my favorite skins. But can we all be real here? Eternal Voyage is one of the best skins in the entire game. And honestly, uh, Epic has not done a better Battle Pass skin in the life. You came close with Chimera in Iron Man. And the entire, in Doctor Doom. And the entire, the chapter 2 season 4 Battle Pass. But as much as I love Marvel, as because I love comic books and stuff like that. Eternal Voyage is still better than all the skins. He goes to run you up for the number one position, uh, Ash and Jack. Now, uh, when I made this video way, way back in, uh, chapter, chapter season two, 
and aka one of the, my the original videos for this, uh, I rank him as well at number two. And just like Internal Voyager, he stands the test of time, and in my opinion, is the best icon series in the game, and one of the best space themes in the game. Because I think it got the little theme. I love space themes in the game. I think I love everything that's like space related in video games. So it sounds out amazing. And yeah, honestly, it's such a great skin. And uh, yeah, I think they should make Astro Jack another SL. And I really do want him to come back for the people who actually want him to come back. And yeah, uh, honestly, what do I want to say? Oh yeah, uh, both of the styles are incredible, and I should use them more for gameplay. Yeah, Cyclo's still the best skin in the entire game. Uh, and also my favorite skin in the entire game. Uh, Epic has not pat topped the skin for me. I've been meaning him for a year. And I'm continuing it, I'm probably continuing it. Uh, yeah, it's just really short because I think I think I, see, I talk about this skin a lot. And I use this skin a lot. And I think I just, and I also use my guy on my Twitter profile picture, man, for the cast entire thing. Uh, and I think I just have to say one thing. If you do not have Cyclo, get him. He has an amazing skin. Probably the best skin in the entire game. Just look how highly detailed this man is. He has Tempest, which is one of my favorite legendary skins in the entire game. But they made him ten times better. I mean, come on. Oh yeah, uh, uh that's